I can't say I've ever had need of road assistance in the suburbs of Melbourne. I've always been further afield when troubles have beset me. On many of these occasions I've been able to capture on film and video those delays in my travel. Let me take you on a journey and show you some of the car troubles I've had while exploring the Australian outback. One of my earliest misadventures captured on movie film was when I was travelling across the Nullarbor in 1974. About 48 kilometres before the Nundu Roadhouse, the sealed road deteriorated. After the roadhouse, the atrocious sealed road turned into an atrocious dirt track. Because of recent storms, there was very little sand on the track. And for the next 500 kilometres, the surface consisted of large rocks and huge potholes. These conditions led to a puncture that had me on my hands and knees changing the wheel. Ivy Tanks was pretty much in the middle of nowhere. The closest service station was the Nullarbor Homestead, which was 45 kilometres west. The last service station we'd actually seen was 122 kilometres to the east. Before I spent money getting the puncture repaired, I wanted to find out if the tyre could in fact hold air. I went to the station mechanic and asked if I could use his air compressor. He asked if I'd bought any petrol. When I told him I already had fuel lapping at the top of the intake pipe and the spare fuel can was also full, I was stunned by his response. If you didn't buy any petrol, you can't use the compressor. I walked off without saying anything. There's little point in arguing about such matters, especially when you know you have to come back this way in the near future. I travelled the 45 kilometres to the Nullarbor homestead and confirmed that the tube had been ripped to shreds and a new one was purchased. 